my kitchen. Today we're going to cook, and before you start cooking, always wash your hands, and I just did. Today we're going to make a grilled cheese sandwich, but it's going to be fun because it's called rolling pin, so we're going to roll. What you'll need is some sliced bread, sliced cheese, a rolling pin, real knife for mom or dad, and a plastic knife for you. So what you're going to first do is you're going to get your slice of bread, and mom, dad, you cut the crust off. You can use your plastic knife, kid. Go around and cut off the crust like that. And then put it aside. We're going to make two. We're going to cut that off. And then put them aside. Then you can get your rolling pin and you're going to roll out your bread. You're going to make it flat. So you're going to roll it out. You can roll up the other one too. Okay. Once they're flat, see how flat they are? You're going to get a slice of cheese and you're going to place it onto the slice of bread. There, Get another one here. I'm using Swiss cheese because that's my favorite. Like that, and then you're gonna roll it up. Like you're rolling up a rug or a paper, make it a tube. So you're gonna roll it up and kind of give it a little squish. That way it stays together. So see how it's rolled up? They're like little rolls there. And then you'll walk over to the stove, and this is where mom and dad come in handy, because they are going to put, you're going to put a little some butter on the pan, that way it gets hot and tastes, makes the bread taste really good, okay? And then you're going to place the bread, you're going to place your little rolls on there. I've got some extra ones I'm going to put in here, Okay. And you're going to wait for it to brown. And you turn up the heat a little bit. And you're going to cook it like that. You're going to give it a little squish. That way it gets, the, the heat will go through the bread and get to the cheese. So we're going to roll it over like that. It doesn't take very long for it to brown. And after they're browned and melt, cheese is melted, give a little squish there. See how nice and brown they are? Then you'll take it off the pan and serve it on a plate. You can serve it with tomato slices or carrots or apples and then serve it with a glass of milk or a glass of juice or water, whatever you like. So enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.